Move out the way. I don't know. How old am I? All right, welcome back. I'm Nathan, and uh, yeah, you're joining me again on another crazy episode of Loose Garden Services. Let me tell you, what's going on my face by the? Oh, it looks weird. You're on the electric fence post thing. I'm in a field, just in case uh, you get zapped. Right, um, where I'm at now, we're on a. What day is it? Do you know when you're broken up for Christmas? Or should be broken up for Christmas, you don't know what day of the week it is. It's Tuesday before Christmas, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And I shouldn't be broken up, but the van's off work. And actually, it's worked out. The van's off work? The van's off the road. And it's actually worked out all right because I've had a load of um, office stuff to do, which I don't normally get involved with. But um, yeah, we're switching everything over from a shoebox and a book to uh, a zero. And um, yeah, we're going to be doing that. So I've got things to do. I'm working out the truck at the minute, the old Daihatsu. And I'm up here for a day using the auger that I fixed. You might have seen that I eventually fixed it. It was a sticking bit in the carb and also the fuel line was all not only full of crap, it was just split as well. So I replaced the fuel line, sort the carb up with some fresh fuel in and it's a runner. Now, I'm in this field for a friend. We're going to put some fencing up to keep the horses where they should be or to like uh, separate this bit out as a kind of a sick paddock for some older horses or if it's needed to separate anyone. And I've done a fair bit of fencing in the past. I've dug quite a few holes. And I'll say I've dug a few holes myself, if you know what I mean. But uh, I've never done uh, the augers. I've used the whacker whacker. So I'm gonna make some holes first with the auger and then do some whacker whacker. I'm gonna set a post here. I'm gonna leave a room for a gate and a, uh, a gate post. So I'll do that later when it's a bit drier. And I'll set it at the far end. I'm not sure if you can see where I'm pointing, but see where that kind of bit of white roofing stuff is. I'll set a post down there, run a string line. I say string line. <laughs> I'll find some, uh, what do you would call it, electric tape, electric fence and tape, and I will set one down there, and then I'll run a line, and I'll dot them every, um, every way doing six foot, yeah, we've got 12 foot rails, we've got three by twos, we haven't got the half rounds, so we'll, uh, yeah, join the thing, I'm not sure whether you can see the ground, higher, lower, and there's a bit of a dip, obviously, where there's old fence there, all the horses stand against it, push the soil down, right, let me uh, see if this thing starts, and I will measure up and put a first post hole in for you. Let's do it. Right, I've roughed it out where the first one's going to go. If I get it wrong, I've got a four foot gate, the fittings, a gate post six inch, and then I've got to get a retainer there for the bolt to go into. If I get it wrong, all I have to do is um, redo the first one and set it further in, out, whatever. I can make it up either way. Right, let me see if this auger starts. And I've put a trusty footprint in the ground where my first post going to go, and uh, yeah, we'll see if that works. Right, let's get it done. The uh, pony you see right about there, that's Rosie. And she's my wife's pony. She was a Christmas present, maybe. I don't know. How old am I? Maybe 17 years ago. Good decision. But I'm telling you, the horse world costs a lot of money. That's why I'm skint and out here doing this for free. And that's just because I'm a nice person. Right, let's get this in. Rose, you're going to have to move up the way because you ain't going to like it. Come on.
Right, I made a hole, but yeah, the first hole there has to be the gate post, doesn't it? So, I will get a string line. I'll put one on the end first. Christ, this is difficult. I'll get one on the end first, and I'll run a string line from this corner post here, that's already all here. Then I'll measure out, and I'll leave enough of the gate post, the gate, the attachments, and then I'll come six foot after that. If it makes a good hole, what do you think? I'm going to have to fill that bick in. Bick in? Back in now. Because um, holes like that and uh, horses' legs don't mix. Right, let's fill it in. Actually, I won't fill it in. I will put the post in and then I'll pull that one out and replace it with the gate post later down the line. That's what I'll do. Oh. Let me tell you, that's any easier than all that banging shit. Let me show you the little whacker thing. Right, there's more ponies coming on now. This is where it gets a little bit crazy and I leave. My little idea though for getting it level, look at that. A two way on there, little uh, brick level. I don't know where it is. Found it in the box. But it's got two on there. So I could get him pre-level. I was going to glue it on, but you know the bubbles would just turn to like a million bubbles, so that wouldn't work. Bloody Welsh ponies. That's Bob. Whoa! Right, that's my trial post. So I can see, are they meant to wobble that much? I like a bit of muck around mine. I can see uh, how far we want it in. I'll go to that height. Third six pack up, we'll go for that. Right, that's that hole done. And, um, the rain's not easing up. It's getting muddy. I was going to say something I remember what it was. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, the auger. That's what I was going to say. It took me a couple of minutes to get the stop switch back into the run position. So uh, it's now the good old-fashioned choke on and off. That's on and off. Right, we find some. Uh, Electrical tape. I'll do. Right, I've got a string line along the floor and I'm going to just start dropping posts in. Um, I'm not going to get all this done today, but um, you get the idea. I'll do a little section anyway, I think. All right. This weather is crap. My uh, string line electrical tape wasn't quite long enough either, but um, yeah, you get the picture now. Right, let's get some more posts and some bits. Uh. Crucial question. What side of the rail is going on? Uh, Copy the other side, shall we? Yeah. Let's copy the other side. The DeWalt third hand. Ugh. Shit. Luckily enough, it's the same height as my welly, so perfect. So I'll have a DeWalt box one end to hold it up. And I'll do the welly measure the other end.
yeah, I think I'll use that measuring system and uh, Solarplex, top of the old six pack, whichever you want to call it, whichever's still available there. And um, yeah, top of the welly. And then I'll just put one nail in each end and uh, have a step back and rejig if I need to rejig. I'm going to put you down because there's mud from arsehole to breakfast time, you know. So give me, give me an hour and I'll, I'm sure how far I get. Muddy. Come on, move out the way. Oh, you get it? Move out the way. Daisy. Shift your blooming ass. Oh, whoa. Come on. The worst bit of fencing you've ever seen. Right, I'm done. My time is here is up and I am off. I'll finish that another day. The right little few stones in there. Yeah, it's rough. Thanks for checking in. Catch you all later. I'll show you at some point when it's finished. Cheers.